A group of doctors and consultants have written a number of published letters saying that they don't accept the cause of death given by Lord Hutton. Their letters have made them front page news, but have not drawn an official response from the government. Officially, David Kelly's death was not only caused by hemorrhaging from a wrist wound. Lord Hutton says that an overdose of the painkiller Coproximal probably also played a part. Packaging found with the body meant that up to 29 Coproximal tablets were available to Dr. Kelly. But the toxicologist who gave evidence to the Hutton inquiry could not be definitive about how many tablets were taken. Tests he carried out suggested it was an overdose, that Dr. Kelly had 10 times more than a normal medical dose of Coproximal. But he also said that Dr. Kelly had less than is usually fatal. The forensic toxicologist to the Hutton inquiry said that there was only a third of what's normally a fatal amount in his blood. That's an area which, which does need proper exploration by people who have expertise in, in toxicology and that could only be done at an inquest. One of Dr Kelly's close friends, who is himself an eminent toxicologist, was concerned about the way this evidence was dealt with by the Hutton inquiry. Well, if I comment on the toxicology, which is the assessment of the drugs that were present in David, I thought it was incredibly superficial. You need to know something about the behavior of the drug, their um, concerns about where you take the blood sample from. You might concentrations vary um, at different sites of the body. And might there be changes in the blood levels after somebody dies with these drugs? These are all important factors that you need to know when you're interpreting a blood level after somebody dies. And that inquiry didn't go ahead.